just got a blowout for the baby shower. Who's ready? <laughs> we finally put up our wedding photo and she is gorgeous. So this is the day before our baby shower and our caterer came to set everything up the night before. I actually didn't know that they did this, but this is so smart. And this is so nice that so tomorrow, just like the food and everything is ready to go. She basically set up all of these beautiful plates here, created this cute signage for all the food we're having. So it's a mix of brunch food. And then I also, of course, wanted some Korean fusion in there. So we're gonna have some Korean short rib sliders, cucumber salad, smoked tart, teen. <laughs> And then this table is my favorite part. So pretty much I put this baby shower together via Pinterest board like anything else. So these are gonna kind of like go out and fill out and I'm just gonna steam that tonight because I cannot with those creases. And then on this table, we're gonna do our dessert and candy little table. It's gonna be so cute. And we're gonna put in a bunch of like wildflower bud vases in here too. So the flowers come in the morning, but this is so cute, I'm so excited. And then this is the other section where we put out, oh my God, literally I'm obsessed. This clothes are so cute with these little hangers. And then we also put this little guest book signing station here, so we got a couple of Polaroid cameras, put out markers, so we're gonna have people take photos and sign it, and this is like a little nice keepsake. And then this is the outdoor area that we set up, so basically everything here that you see except for the umbrella and those two chairs are just all rentals. And then we got a bunch of bar tables too that we're gonna put linen cloths on, obviously, because it's night before, we're not gonna do it. Baby shower was a success. We had the best time. I'm so sleepy. That's our girl. That's our girl. That's our girl. <laughs> Literally had the best time at our baby shower. It was so sweet and I was like so, just like had a moment of gratitude for all like the wonderful friends and family and loved ones in our lives. And after I was literally so exhaust exhausted, I feel like my social battery and energy were like zero. You know when you're like hosting, you're basically entertaining, so you're like on, 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 but I am an ambivert, but I feel like I lean more on the introvert side, so I feel like my energy was super depleted after. And then once everyone left, I literally was like, my mom was like Zzz. I also forgot to eat, and I was like kind of nibbling, but I wasn't eating like proper meals, because you know when you're like so busy talking to people, whereas like, on a normal basis, I make sure to eat because if I don't, I get kind of lightheaded, especially with the pregs. So anyways, it was absolutely amazing. Um, and it makes me just like progressively just so excited to meet our baby girl. And then we have our baby moon coming up. So we actually went on like a baby moon when I was at 20 weeks, which it was a baby moon in the sense it was really nice for Kellen and myself to spend a lot of intimate time together, but I still hadn't revealed my pregnancy at that point. So like even on the baby moon, like I was still concealing my bump. I wasn't posting any photos. We're going on another baby moon part two. 
and also a puppy moon. So this is like a concept that Kellen and I came up with because like couples go on baby moon so they can spend a lot of time together before the baby comes, which makes so much sense because your life is about to freaking change. Everyone tells me that. Everyone's like, get your sleep in now, get a lot of quality time in together. But also we're like, you know, life is really drastically about to change for Willow. So for our puppy moon, Obviously we are taking Willow because for the first trip we went just Kellen and myself. So this will be really nice because Willow gets the last trip where it's just like us three and she's still like the center of our world. People talk about how like, because I feel like truly Willow is like my first baby, but people just talk about like when the baby comes, like people are like, yeah, you just don't care that much about your dog. And I'm like, I just, that makes me sad. And I don't, I kind of don't feel like we'll be like that. I don't know. I'll see. So anyways, we're gonna go on our baby moon and puppy moon. But for now, we are going to get unread with me and take this face off. So I just took my face off and I like to use a micellar water first and then go over it with either like an oil cleanser so I like this one from Tatcha as well. This is their Camila cleansing oil. I feel like that gets like literally all the makeup off. My face feels super nice and clean. So you guys know, I love my K-Beauty. I grew up using K-Beauty and today I'm using this brand called Isn't Tree. I'm starting off by using this Isn't Tree Yam Root Vegan Milk Cleanser. This is a gentle yet effective cleanser made with yam root extract. It removes excess oil and impurities without stripping the skin of its natural moisture, leaving my skin feeling clean, soft, and hydrated. I love the creamy texture of the product and it's made for all skin types. Then I follow up with the Isn't She Yam Root Vegan Milk Cream, which is a moisture-rich, nourishing cream. The cream has a really nice, rich, buttery texture, but it absorbs quickly into the skin without feeling heavy. Again, featuring the same star ingredient, the Yam Root Extract. This ingredient has powerful moisturizing properties, plus has ceramides with panthenol to help straighten the skin's barrier. This cream helps to firm and plump the skin while reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, so sign me up. My skin feels soft, smooth, and just supple afterwards. bought this s'mores kit for $15. <laughs> it has two s'mores. It's giving $7.50 a s'more. Because you do one layer and you put it down and then you go second layer. But you know, I feel like sometimes s'mores are one of those things where like, I feel like they try to make it all gourmet but like the OG, you know, graham crackers with Hershey's and Jet Puff just slaps. Let's try it. Interesting. Whenever someone eats something and the first word that comes out of their mouth is interesting, <laughs> they don't like it. It's your puppy moon. cute little walk around solving um it's like i guess it's like a mini what is it 
like a mini Copenhagen, mini Denmark. It was really cute. We basically, because we don't drink, but I feel like everything is like wine tasting. We did a little dessert crawl and then I found a bookstore. I forgot to bring like, I forgot to bring my books, which I, in retrospect, I was like, oh, this is like the perfect time. Just like sit out in the sun and read. So I got this book, highly rated, Bringing Up Bebe. So I'm really excited to read this. And we're headed to like the earliest dinner ever at 4.15. Because yesterday I went to this restaurant called Bell's that was really delicious. Like if you guys are ever out in... <laughs> what city are we in? So Los Olivos. Los Olivos. Los Olivos. Los Olivos and Solvang. I think they're all relatively close to each other. It's like... I think it's like 40 minutes past Santa Barbara, Montecito, which we love. We basically picked this location because, first of all, I don't want to get on an airplane while I'm pregnant. And it was only... I think it's a little over two hours to get here um and i saw this place on vogue they just opened in february so this place is actually very very cute we got the room that has a little nice private patio outdoor area for willow and ourselves so anyways went to dinner at bells yesterday it was delicious i guess they also have a sister restaurant called bar la Cote, which is all french i not french food which is all seafood so we're gonna go there for dinner now we literally just saw we just we literally just looked it up to see if that reservations and they have 4 15 so i'm like sign me up earlier the better so quite nice we have this private outdoor patio area remember when people gave like room tours and your room was so clean so this is just gonna be the room tour clearly unpacked brought my pregnancy pillows this room is very cute. I'm very into like kind of this farmhouse cottage vibe. Has a cute little nook. We just closed the window because we're going to step out for dinner and Willow's going to be in here. But she's really, really great. Like at staying alone in the room and stuff. I'm gonna, she's the best. I love this bathtub. <laughs> massive pasties you know like nippy skin they have like the small ones i've had to size up to the d the d cup ones and then pasties are like that big and they have these little sections so i had to wear it i'm like trying to hide it but the weather is so nice today it's so sunny and beautiful so we are going to try to spend most of the day outside we're just gonna stay on property today we're like contemplating we're like should we go back to solving should we go to santa barbara but we're like we just want to rest and relax so that's what we are doing today. Look at that. How do you do He's also here. <laughs> <laughs> traveling donuts these have been in my purse <laughs> we just came to grab coffee and he brought it it was a BYOD bring your own donuts 